by using object constraints, you get nice exploded view animations in a controlled manner. This is going to save you time, especially if you are used to keyframes everywhere. And to add on that, it's easy to set up. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use empty objects to control the locations of model parts along specific axes. If you've ever wanted to give your viewers an up-close and personal look at the inner workings of your models, then this is the tutorial for you. I am going to use this model for demonstration. The end result is going to be, when you select and move this empty object along the y-axis, the location of these objects will adjust as well. These back objects will also move along the opposite direction. The same thing is with this empty cube. When you move it along the z-axis, you can see these objects moving with it. And this bottom one is going along the opposite direction. First of all, select all the model parts, then clear object constraints. Then select and delete these empty objects for a fresh start. Go to add empty, then plane axis. Move it slightly along the z-axis. Reduce its size if it's too big in the scene. Go to add once more, empty, then cube. This is pretty big, so reduce its size as well. Then move it this way along the x-axis. Let's start with this object. Go to object constraint properties. Here, let us go with copy location. But as you can see, there are plenty of constraints here, we shall only focus on the copy location. Select this empty cube as the target. Immediately you select it, you can see the object comes to the target's location. To fix that, check offset. On the axis, disable X and Y, only the Z axis is needed. Now if I move this empty cube along the Z axis you can see it affects the other object as well. The next step is to copy the constraint to other objects. Therefore, select these objects first, then shift select the one with the constraint last. That order of selection is important. Then go to the constraint data properties, copy to selected. If you move the empty cube once more, they also move. In order to create some spaces between the objects, select each one of them and adjust the influence. This bottom object needs to move along the opposite direction. Select it first, then shift select this object last. Go to Object Constraint Properties, Copy to Selected. In order to make it to actually go to the opposite direction, enable Invert on the Z axis. The same thing needs to be done on this lens object and the other remaining objects as well. Select the lens, go to Object Constraint Properties, add Copy Location Constraint. Select this plane axis to be the target object. Check offset, then disable the X and Z axis. If you move the plane axis along the Y axis, you can see it affects the lens. Shift select the other objects first, then the lens object to be selected last. Go to Object Constraint Properties, Copy to Selected. Select these objects and enable Invert on the Y axis. The next step is to adjust the influence of the constraint on each object. If you want to animate this, you simply set keyframes on the locations of the empty objects. 